Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the Fractions Circle Template which is a smart notebook template to help teach your students about fractions. You can download the template here and when you do download it it'll look something like this. As you can see there's five slides. The first is one where you can just click a few times and insert a heading click a few times and insert an intro. The second slide is where you'll type in your question. Third slide says it's all over. And the fourth and fifth slides are where the main, I guess, content for this template resides. Now, on these slides, you've got a number of images for circles divided into components ranging between a whole circle and a circle divided into sixteenths. Now, each of these images is separable. What I mean is you can drag them apart. Okay, so each one of these sections is its own image. On the next slide you've got the, exactly the same thing in white and you overlay the two of these to make your content in terms of the visuals to support your questions. Let me show you now what I mean. Here's an example of something I've created using that template. Equivalent fractions. What fraction is equivalent to 2 over 8? Is it 1 over 4 or any which of these options? To give the students a visual representation of what all of these are, we'll reveal on the screen shade what they each look like. So then the students can have a guess, you can have a discussion about right which one's closest to 2 eighths, which one is 2 eighths. Okay, you can reveal your answer and you can explain it on the next page. 2 over 8, divide by 2, divide by 2 and then again visual representation of what you're talking about. And as I said before, each one of these components is its own picture so you can take that out and pop it back in to give the students a good a good view of what you're doing. All right, another example of what you can do with this template. Improper fractions. All right, convert the following improper fraction to a proper fraction. 5 over 4 looks like this. Now let's convert it to a proper fraction. 5 over 4 equals 4 over 4 plus 1 over 4. That's the same as 1 and a quarter. So 5 over 4 equals 1 and a quarter. All right, and again, there's your visual to go with it. So, how do we use this template? Now I'll give you a quick run through of how to put it into practice. All right, here it is when we first opened it. On the first slide, I might type something like adding fractions. Okay, there, I've just typed that in. Now, slide two is where you actually put in your content. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a clone of this page because after I finish with this slide, I'm going to want to put some content on, uh, I want to put in a second question. So I'll right click on that slide too and I'll say clone page or control D. So there we've got question 1 on slide 2 and question 2 on slide 3 and I'll just change this to 2. Now let's go back to question 1 and I'll click here a few times and put in my heading and I'll just use this template to quickly type in uh, a question. Okay, I typed in a question there. I might actually move these over a little bit and I'll put in the answer on this page. And what I might do is I might cover up the answer with my screen shade. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone this page and on the next page I'll put those visuals to accompany the question. So I'll make a clone, right click and clone the page. I'll get the screen shade out of the way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an image of 1 over 4, then 2 over 4, then 3 over 4. I'll go down and grab, we're looking at the 4's here, okay, and we're actually going to want 3 in total, so I'll grab 1, hold my shift key, and then I can select 2 and 3. Once they're selected, I'll right click and choose copy and I'll bring them up to this slide here and I'll paste them in. I'll say right click and paste. So there we go, we've got three quarters but we don't have that section of the circle down the bottom there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to slide seven 
and I'm going to grab all four of these segments here so I'll start up here and I'll hold my mouse button down and make a rectangle till all four segments are selected then I'll right click and choose copy Then I'll go back to slide 3 I'll right click and I'll paste those over here because I pasted the white ones second you'll notice that the white ones are actually on top of the the shaded ones which we don't actually want so the shortcut to do that is uh, control shift paste page down but I'll just do it the way with my mouse if you right click on all of that and you go order send to back you can see it's control shift and page down now if we moved all that you'd see it's behind the shaded one I'm going to move this over here because we're going to want one over four then I'll make another copy I'll just press control D to duplicate I'll move it here for two over four and then I'll duplicate it once again and I'll move it over here for three over four I'm going to want one segment over on the first white circle so I'm going to duplicate this control D and I'm going to drag this over on top of the white circle I might just have to resize it a bit there and with my arrow keys just do the fine tuning of the position there's one quarter all right plus two quarters so I might grab this one and this one and duplicate them control D again drag them over might just resize them a little bit and I'll grab these three pieces up here and drag them into oops as you can see they're on the bottom so I'm going to control shift page up to bring them up to the top and plonk them on top of this image there's your question finished and the kids get a visual representation of what you've done you can even drag these signs down if you want control D or duplicate those signs 1 over 4 plus 2 over 4 equals 3 over 4 and there's a visual representation of what you're actually talking about that basically explains how to use the template of course then I can go in and put in question 2 but before I did that I'd make another clone of it so I've got a spare one down the bottom okay and when the kids have finished the questions or when you've finished going through them with the class and you press next you'll just get to that sign that says the end and the students don't really need to see all of these that you've used to, to make up the slides they just need to see them in context I guess what's the context there's one over four here's a visual representation of two over four and there's three over four okay that's about it you can make any sort of fraction related question that you like using this template as I said the main the main aspect of it is just being able to have those visuals cut up into the segments to use as for the questions themselves that's at your discretion and to use your creativity with thank you very much I hope you found this useful and I hope your students enjoy it